You've been so lonely since your ex-best friend abandoned you. He experienced a glow-up. You didn't. And it's a tale as old as time. No matter how hard you try, he simply wants nothing to do with you. You've given up. But you notice there's a boy sitting by himself and lamenting his lack of lunch. So why not give him yours? He seems sweet and you could use a new bestie. A nice, normal bestie that won't hurt you like the last one did. That's not too much to ask, right? You make your way through the lunchroom when you see a pretty large boy sitting by himself, being a bit of a drama queen. Bah! Why did I forget my lunch money? Bo, you always do this. And then you forget your lunch, and then your backup lunch, and then your backup backup lunch. Ugh, now I gotta wait till I get home to eat while my muscles are all... The boy perks as you set your tray in front of him. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, did you want to sit here? Because I can, like, move. Wait, really? You're cool with giving me your lunch? Oh man, you're a saint. Thanks. He starts to nom happily, but pauses as you go to walk away. Hey, where are you going? You don't want to sit with me? His dopey smile turns to a concerned frown. Hey, have you been crying? It is a big deal. Come on, sit down with me. I'm good at listening. I'll uh, try not to chew too loudly, but like, um, I'm really damn hungry. <laughs> oh, you're, you're cute. Uh, sorry, uh, okay, lay it on me. Why, why, why's got you trouble, my new bestie? Huh, r- rude of me. Right, I'm, I'm Bo. And what's your name, new bestie? Ah, great, all right. Bestie, lay it on me. It's kind of weird how enthusiastic he is, but also cute. You tell him your troubles while he destroys fries like they insulted his family. Uh-huh. Oh. Ah, oh, that's not rad. Ah, oh, no way. Ah, oh, total bummer. Ah, oh, so, so Mark over there, he used to be your best friend when he was kind of chunky, but then he got a glow up and started hanging with the popular kids, huh? Tale as old as Tom, I guess. So he started picking on you to fit in, I'm guessing. Oh man, that's lame. You seem like super sweet and considerate. It's his loss if he thinks having those shallow dicks around is better than having a true friend like you. Yeah, me. Huh. I usually sit alone, yeah. I'm a real big guy and people know I have anger issue, so most keep that distance. Uh, it's okay though, I, I found ways to entertain myself. Check it. He reaches into his backpack and pulls out the cutest little plushie you've ever seen. Yeah, it's a little kitty cat I crocheted. It's called Amigurumi. Neat, huh? Hey, maybe I can crochet you one sometime if you, if you want. Sorry, too enthusiastic. A new friend equals barf brain. Let me know if I'm coming on too strong, okay? I don't want to chase off someone as nice as you. You assure him it's all good as he noms away. At least until he asks. Uh, okay. So, what exactly did he, like, say to you that got you so upset? The second you look up, 
Bo's eyes are literally growing red. Your grandma passed away and you wanted him to come to her funeral? And he told you that your grandma was lame and he had plans? <laughs> are my eyes glowing red? I'm not surprised. See, see, see this Y on my jacket here? He points to his football jacket. Yeah, I think I'd like to chat with Marky Boy. Just real quick. He stands and you see how big he is. For lack of a better term, Bo is a unit. Uh, I'm not going to start trouble. I just want to talk to him. People practically clear a path for him and the lunchroom quiets as Bo stands before Mark and his lackey. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Hi there. You must be Mark, huh? Mark turns with a sneer but goes pale as he sees Bo. Uh, yeah? Can I help you? Well, I just think you owe my new bestie here an apology, you know? What they told me you said wasn't very nice. Mark glares at you. Look, dude, they're the one being clingy. We stopped being friends months ago. I don't give a shit about that grandma. I don't have time for them begging me to give them my time. If you want to simp for them, fine. But leave me out of it. Bo sees the hurt on your face and his smile grows borderline psychotic. I see, I see. Huh, well, that's a real shame. You don't know what you're missing out on. Your ex-best friend rolls his eyes. Yeah, I think I do, dude. Oh, I don't mean them. And what the fuck? You jump as Bo reels back and slams his fist into their table, almost reducing it to nothing but splinters. I meant being able to walk again. See my parents, they taught me a lot. They're really good people, but if they taught me anything, it's that some people just don't learn from words. Some people need it beaten into them. People like you love pushing boundaries and then have the fucking audacity to be indignant when they're faced with the consequences. Don't worry, bestie. I'm not going to let you get hurt. He turns to you, and in that short amount of time, one of Mark's lady friends tries to brain him with her lunch tray. He hardly reacts. <laughs> Was that me, Cindy, trying to knock me out with her lunch tray? Were you hedging your bets on me not reacting because you're a lady? He turns back, and Cindy recoils in horror. I believe in equality, Cindy. I think it's important that all genders be treated with respect and with equal measured responses. Do you believe in equality, Cindy? If you don't, that's rather rude of you. If you do, then I hope you'll understand when I punch you in the face. You grab his arm and gently tug. Oh, you, you don't want me to hurt them. Hmm. I guess that's fair. I'd hate to make my new best friend sad. Let me just finish up our conversation real quick. And then you and I can have a walk to clear our heads, okay? You let go of his arm and the second you do, he grabs Mark and Cindy by their skulls and slams them down into the remnants of the poor table. Mark, Cindy, I feel like you need a time out since you're behaving like children, okay? They groan from the ground. Now. You sit in time out and you think about your actions. You pick on them, you attack them, you try and get them in trouble. I know where both of you fucking live. My parents and I will be more than happy to make this a family event. Kid okay? Bo turns back to you, smile kind once more. See, I just wanted to talk to him. Now, how about we go for a walk? Maybe we can crochet together. It's really relaxing. I'm really glad you're my first friend. You're really nice. Maybe you can even come hang out at my house sometime. Like, my parents will be really happy to see me with a friend. My dad is kind of shy as a heads up, but he's nice. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Great. Come on, bestie. We're going to have a ton of fun together. You guess. You're friends now. <laughs> 